Hello Zwifters and welcome back to another Zwift Racing League Recon. This is going to be race 2 of round 2 and we're going to be doing a team time trial this week and it's going to be on 2 laps of Greater London Flat. Let's dive into the details. So this course is going to be 2 laps as I said Greater London Flat and it's going to be 29 kilometers or 18 miles. Then it's going to be 151 meters of elevation gain or 500 feet of elevation gain. So it's a very flat course and since it is a team time trial, there are go not going to be any primes or segments available, but there is going to be power-ups available in this race, which is different from what they've done previously, I believe. So it's going to be just one power-up, and it's going to be the draft power-up. You'll get that at the starting banner and the two sprint banners that you go through throughout the course. So let's dive into the bike choice for this course, and since Zwift is using the team time trial mode for these races, or W2RL is using it actually, but um, it is the Zwift team time trial mode, so the bike choice is going to be a TT bike. As I mentioned earlier, the best bike on this course is going to be a TT bike because TT bikes are allowed and it's pretty much pan flat, so the best options are going to be the Felt IA 2.0 with the DT Swiss disc wheel, the Scott um, Plasma RC with the new DT Swiss wheel set, or the new Kdex TT bike that was just released, I believe, one or two game releases ago, and it is now the fastest on the flats. That's going to be a pretty pricey bike, but it does look quite innovative, and it's insanely fast. That's it for bike choice, now onto the recon. So into the recon itself, I'm going to be completely honest, I don't have a whole lot to say about this course because it's super flat and it's a relatively simple course to race, but I'm going to do this recon portion so that you all know what to look forward to or what to expect on this course. So it starts with a slight descent and you want to really make sure you've got good TTT formation going down there. You don't want to drop any of the riders because if you do, you won't have the, that rider left to help you on the climbs or the gradual bits of this course. This course does have a few um, minor ramps here and there, but nothing over the, uh, the gradient of around 3 or 4%. So you don't need to worry about any of those small climbs interfering with your formation and your just rhythm that you have with your team. So I highly suggest get, just getting the pulls down and making sure you've got a high power going on the front and really just keeping those speeds high so that you can shave off every second possible having a really smooth formation here in this course is really going to be key to success now something that i do want to mention is that the red carpet or that's exactly that's what i call it but um the red carpet is actually a really slow drag and you might want to push a little bit harder on that part just to get over it because it is a very slow long drag of around one percent and it'll drastically slow your speed down um and around that corner that takes you around kind of a u-turn that is the only corner in Zwift that you will feel the um, actual slowing down around corners um, feel. But other than that, there's not much to say about that por portion of the course. This portion that I'm going on right now is around a 2-3 to three mile just long flat drag where you're going to want to just um, hammer away and have fun on this part. It's going to be kind of a boring course in my opinion because there are not too many um, portions of the course where there are going to be tactics necessary. Now onto the final third of the course. There are going to be a few minor drags here and there but they really won't last more than 30 seconds. They're all relatively short and there will be a slight descent um, shortly after it. And right here you can see that we're about to go through a tunnel area and that's going to be another portion where you're just going to want to chill kind of there and then push on the gradient after. That's going to happen in around 5 or 10 seconds. Now right here with about one mile to go in the route, you are going to go up the final rise of this course before heading down a pretty steep descent of around 2-3% to and that will take you into the finishing stretch of the course and you're going to have a short drag here before making a pretty much a U-turn but a full 180 turn onto the red carpet where you will finish on the mall sprint. That's all I've got for you all. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe. See you all next time.